Hello fellow compatriots and welcome to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at my very own rendition of the Toa of PlayStation, the Gamer Girl. Character has no functions just to get that out of the way. I know I'm going to later be mentioning it again so that you guys don't forget. But yeah, no functions with this one, uh, mainly just articulation and good looks, um, at least to the degree. Um, due to her slim stature, it was very keen for me to try to make it as durable as possible due to her thin stature, and I think I've done it pretty well with her overall design. Anyways, without further ado, let's take a good look at her with her uh, motion remotes and thrusters. Uh, okay, so right off the bat, I just want to mention she has no functions, just to get that out of the way. Um, so she is, um, yeah. Um, anyways, let's go straight to articulation. So, um, ankles to go down this far, I go up this far, it got some tilt going on. Now, you may notice with the design of the build that. Her ankles are mostly covered with this cylinder piece to keep it, keep the solidity of the figure uh, as much as possible in the joint areas. Give it much more of a smoother aesthetic uh, for her feministic design. Um, though she doesn't have skinny legs at all, she has like boot like legs, mainly for the sake of, hey, you know, keep it a little animated in a way. However, um, she doesn't have that much bend in the knee due to the way the legs are designed, sadly. Um, but, um, she doesn't really have that much of a curl either. Yeah, she doesn't have, she can't really do the splits all too much, so that doesn't work all too well. Forward, this much. Hold on, let me see if I can do it without <laughs> that popping off. Forward, this much. There we go. Um, so you get that much bend. There's nothing in the waist at all. It's completely solid. Um, her arms, full 360s all the way around, though that cable can get in the way, just to let you know, but it's easy to finagle around. Now, these, in fact, over here are joysticks. Uh, since she is a PlayStation Gamer Girl, um, Toa character, um, I use made some motion controls um, over here, so I got the little blue and the black handle, and you're probably asking yourself, the PlayStation controls didn't have cables, why did you add cables? Because um, they are currently charging uh, through her back, so they're being charged in her back so that they have a, a limited uh, amount of battery life, um, so that they can stay on forever. So that she can control the bat the games in her favor. Dun dun dun. Anyways, uh, due to the arms are designed, she can in fact cross her, her arms. Kind of, sort of. She can kind of, sort of cross her arms. Um, they can go all the way up, um, forward, and back a lot. They can go pretty far back. Um, which is surprising, and this, um, these can rotate these these wing mechanisms. They can rotate so that, um, and they are on a bolt chain as well, so that when she's flying, um, she can control how she's flying via her PlayStation motion controls, so that she can fly with ease and through the air. Straight into size comparison because you want kind of curious, probably curious how tall she is. So for starters, here she is with uh, Tomata Gali. So you got a size comparison, a little bit bigger than Gali. She's a little taller. Whoop. And here she is with Gurek. Let me stand Gurak, and there I go. Uh, with Gurak, 
Got a size comparison there. It's not standing entirely straight. There we go, now he is. So you got a size comparison there. Whoop. And of course, here she is with good guy, good guy, and good guy. So you got comparison there. There's good guys. And for all of you recent folk, here she is with uh, Master Kopaka. Um, kind of fits well for your ear. G2 collection, kinda, sorta, yeah. Looks more foreign since she is basically representing a game console, but it still works decently well, all in all. Welcome to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And of, and of course, if you want to see more content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Actually, no, don't hit it. Just gently tap it. And also, if you want to follow me in any sorts of social media, you can follow me in any of the links. Links in the description down below. I have Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Patreon, um, Pinterest, and also the TTV Mrs. Borge. And hey, check me out on Discord. Um, the link to that is also in the description down below. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. And like always, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.